Hear that? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. What was that? That is the greatest sound to ever grace anyone's eardrums. Whoa. You may think it comes from angels' mouths, but actually, it comes from a simple thing called compression. It not only gives you more accuracy and distance to your golf game, but will also bring happiness to your loved ones and instill fear into your enemies. So today, I'm back with the number one ranked golf coach in California and top 10 in the entire United States to fix my swing to finally be able to do this. Not only that, but we are going to get simple changes to the address position that surprisingly makes massive improvements to swing path and contact. Golf shot. And lastly, we'll go down the entire bag and even learn how to hit a new club that I've never been able to do. The grind to scratch continues. Okay, that's probably the best swing you've ever made. Okay, talk so. Talk to me, let's talk about golf. Yeah, let's talk about the, the thing that I devoted my entire life to now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> since our last time, I'm, I basically just don't wanna miss left you know how i always mm -hmm. pulled it the main things that i i guess I have questions about and been working on is just like landing left and then side bending into the shot just like getting to the top here kind of like landing here okay just like that and then this shoulder kind of getting down like kind of like a like a like throwing. working underneath more yeah okay i was doing that for like a couple days and realized that i just chunk 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 so then kind of like just trying to get this out of the way kind of like a not like a hop but it's like okay. kind of like a hop <laughs> okay all that sounds fun yeah whether or not you do it or not and when you do it is it are you doing something that you're describing or i mean these are all relative feel feels are subjective yeah. so like you're just describing what you're feeling and yep. some of those things that you're feeling might be very successful and i don't want to get rid of them because that's currently what you're holding on to to play yeah. So if I go in there and I go, hey, look, you know what, to make this swing look perfect, that might not be repeatable for you because then you have a whole bunch of work behind it you got to do. Yeah. And it might not even be really relative. So what I would say, everything that you said sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with any of it. Mm -hmm. We just have to see whether or not you're doing it. And if the picture is relating to what you're saying, yeah. then we're good. Okay, okay? cool. So, so that's kind um, of like the natural ball path. What did that ball do? Go over to the right. Yeah. Okay. Like in your setup, just right directly in the setup. Yeah. That's like a really good opportunity before movement works. Yeah. To see if you're checking all the right boxes. If your upper body is more in front of your lower body. So like if I set up and my upper center is more left, mm -hmm. what do you think the shoulders would do as far as alignment concerns? Like here, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, well like well, going back or going through? No, just a setup. If I set up, where are my shoulders pointing? He's gonna go that way. They're more left, yeah. okay. And then do you think if the upper hub was more forwarded than the lower hub on the back swing, it would ever get back to zero or more to the right? Um, Generally, can I, can I show you it? Yeah. So like if I set up, and I have the upper hub in front of the belt, right? Yep. So the sternum in front of the belt. And I make a backswing. Does this ever get to the right or center to the belt? No. It's always over here. Yeah. Okay. Can I show you? Yeah. Okay. Have you had contact issues in your career? Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Like most, most people are like <laughs> contact. So the more that you get, just in theory, this is just like theoretical, but you know, it's a pretty good observation that the left shoulder is more forward. So the more that I go like this, the left shoulder actually gets more in front of the ball. Okay. So to my brain, I'm like, oh, you know what? I can make better contact every single time. Yeah. I'll never chunk it mm. or thin it. But if you look at this, you go, okay, well it address, you know, okay, I'm, you know, chest is open, eight degrees, right? Quite a bit. And then on this back swing, you actually have a little, you're just jumping forward with everything. Mm. So you're actually kind of like this. Oh, okay, yeah. So like the whole upper hub is forward and it's actually in a position. Now your weight is way right. So like your pressure's right, but your upper hub is too far left. Mm. And then on the downswing, you can't get left. So see how like your pelvis sway isn't very much. Yeah. You kind of stand up. Yeah. So like if you went to the other side of this, mm. it would help you greatly. So okay. go and take your setup. This is gonna be good. Set up feeling like the center of your belt is in f towards your left foot more. Like that? Yeah, kind of like this. 
Yeah, like kind of exaggerated. Like this hip's lower, this is forward. So now this is more to the right. Oh, right? I see. Then okay. on the back swing, go ahead and go to your top. Feel like this is more forward, but this is more back. Okay. So your weight's forward, but this is more back. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be like a little shot, not a big shot. You're just trying to go kind of like this. This is a nine iron, it's not a driver. Okay, decent. So try to feel like the upper hub is more to the right. So if you think of like center of gravity, yep. right? Lower center, upper center. Lower center is more forward, upper center is more back. So kind of look at me, I'm egregiously overdoing it. Yeah, like that, like that. Yeah, there you go. Tremendous. Very good. Okay. One more time. Good, one more. Don't let the hip go right. So you're kind of going like this way with your hip. Money. Okay, I gotta show you that. Okay. That was awesome. Without. That's okay. Yeah. Well, you need to get your pressure into your lead side, so that looks great. It yeah. looks like a tour player. Um, I this mean, is, if, if this you. This is me. Doing that. Oh, dang, that looks. <laughs> right? Felt like right. I was like. That looks normal. Yeah, that looks normal. So, what you were doing is this is the problem when you think of shifting weight yeah. or shifting pressure. Mm -hmm. You can't do it and subjugate like problematic alignments with it. Okay. Because if you do, you're gonna hit problematic shots. Yeah. It's kind of like, we don't wanna do that. So we wanna limit a, like the geometry moving too much. Yeah. So if we look at that, that looks tremendous. Then you go into the backswing. So notice now when you get to the top, your pelvis is now centered. Wow, it, it felt like I was so like, <laughs> So I guess maybe <laughs> right. the feel and real is so different. Well, yeah, and then your chest is more to the right. Yeah. So that kind of goes back to like one of our earlier topics, but when you start adding pressure to the system mm -hmm. and you're not breaking it appropriately, yeah. like this is the issue. People want to like talk about ground force reaction. Is that the first thing that we look at? Yeah. Heck no, yeah. like absolutely not. Um, that's just, that encompass, that's like the encompassing thing on the back end. Yeah. So if I get in here, because speed is not your issue, mm. right? <laughs> I mentioned that a few times, you got yeah. plenty of it. You got to make really good contact and start the ball on the line. Mm. So if your lower body is going like this, and then you have to hit a ball, okay, now it's over, because my pressure's back and this is going this way, or I'm going to shift it this way. Yeah. So now the whole center is moving all over the place. Yeah. So for you, that looks perfect. That looks like Tiger in 2000. Yeah. <laughs> with better hair. <laughs> and just like the effort I put into my hair, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this game and into the production of all these videos with the greatest coaches in the world. So quickly like this video. And if you like and subscribe, the golf gods will praise one of your shots this golf season to go in like Tiger Woods 2005 shot at Augusta on 16. So subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much. Drop a like for that. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Now we'll look at your rotation, but that looks way better right there. I mean, okay. that's a nice follow through. Hips mm -hmm. are forward, heads back, arms are extended. If you had to play, you could kind of create confidence around that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to say, how much can my system take out here and then go out there and I can only use 10% of it. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to be that confident if you're like, well, I know I have 90% more things I need to do. Yeah. That should be like 90% right there. Okay, got it. Okay. Is that what it is? Basically, get more weight in the left. At, at well, feeling like that. Okay. Yeah, so it's yeah. feeling. So even though like, okay, so here's the thing. If I step, step into a golf ball, okay, automatically when I take my right hand and I go lower, because mm -hmm. my left hand's higher than my right. Yeah. See how my right shoulder's lower than the left? Yep. So instantaneously I have a right bend. Yeah. Now I'm not going to camp 80% of my weight on my right foot. Yep. Because that's not going to really accept my setup. So then I start looking like that. Yeah. Right. So like if I'm in the camera here and I go, that's not good. Yeah. Because if I put any force to this, I'm that way, yeah. right? So I get this way and see that my lower center gets more forward. For now, because mm -hmm. you're hitting a nine iron, you're not trying to hit it 150 miles per hour right now. Yeah. Maybe later we'll talk about that. <laughs> and once I get this set in here, my pressure going into the right side does not mean the geometry moves over there. Got so it. I'm not trying to get my hips, the center over here. I'm trying to keep it there. That's my pressure, that's my break. 
Yeah. I need good braking force. If I get good braking force, I can actually turn and then this thing doesn't get over here. It's, you know, centered and this is more forward. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's, it's kind of like this and then this. There, and now from there, yeah. pressure just goes slam, done. Oh, yeah. okay, got it, got it. That's the kind of the sequence. Yeah, that makes sense. The problem is, is like, what's the goal? Like the goal is, I, especially for right now, like you're learning, I need to hit really consistent golf shots. Yeah. So I need to actually limit the moving, understand it, but know when you've gone too far. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you start seeing this thing moving around, you know that the centers are moving around too much. Got it, so it's kind of just like this, yeah. That, yeah. Okay. I like that. I know you thin that, but I really, really like that. Okay. So when we talk about a golf swing and we look at it from two perspectives, we look at things from at the core, your alignments yeah. or mechanics or your geometry, whatever vocabulary you want to use, it's flashy and whatever. But in reality, the, that's what we call your kinematics of your golf swing. Yeah. Okay. I like you saying geometry because it's like, okay, it's like eighth grade math. Yeah. It's pretty freaking simple. Mm -hmm. And there's certain things that go around contact when you look at this. So, so your rib cage is like one hemisphere and your pelvis is one hemisphere. Mm -hmm. And so the spine is on the back of your body. And so when you rotate, we, we kind of need to have a good understanding of like how to keep that from looking like your head's over here or looking like your head's way over here, mm -hmm. okay? Obviously in rotation, you have rotation, side bend, extension, flexion, rotation, like all these different things, like we call it six degrees of freedom. You know, if you wanna look that up in Google, go for it. <laughs> um, but that's how your spine moves. Yeah. And that gives you your range of motion. So what would happen with you is you would set up and the lower center would be a little bit to the right. Yeah. Which predisposes your body to tilt more to the left. Mm -hmm. And the more tilt you have to the left and opening, the less range of motion you have to the right. Yeah. So like your access to turn is now shut off. Yeah. And it's hard to get pressure back to your lead side when the lower center is anchoring over the right. Yeah. So if I go like this, my, my pressure's over here, I'm not gonna hit a ball with my head jettisoning forward like that. Yeah. Because you're just gonna doing stand that. up. Yeah. Right, which is what you were doing. Yeah. So if I set up and I go, okay, I'm just gonna set up with my lower center a little more forward. So like a 60, 70% weight distribution with a short iron. Okay. Okay. Tilt to the right because your right hand's lower than your left. It's a pretty simple way of doing that. Yeah. Then when I rotate, I now have more range of motion to access. The lower center is more forward or centered. Yeah. It's not to the right. Therefore, when I get to the top, it's easy for me to get my pressure back to the lead side early. Yeah. And I have more range of motion to deal with. Okay. And that's where the core issue was. Okay, so we'll, we'll set up here. Okay. Really, really nice. And just kind of exaggerate it. Okay, now just for gigs, what would be that backswing feel? Awesome. So chest could actually be more to the right and more turned. So it's kind of, oh, it's kind of like... There you go. Okay. Tremendous. Oh, man. Decent. Yeah, do another one. That was decent. Okay. Don't be afraid to let that pressure go bam left when you do it. Okay. Good. So there's a little, like, it looks like a little instability going on, like you're trying to do too much. Yeah. So go ahead and just take a setup. Okay. So there. Okay. Yeah. Now make a back swing for me. You feel that? Yeah. See how this turns back and this turns back? Yep. So this is working behind you. This is working towards the camera. Okay. Okay. Do that again. There you go. So now you're left. See how small that is? Yeah. So it doesn't take a lot. And remember, it's a nine iron or a wedge. You don't need to shift stuff around as much as a driver. Got it. Awesome. 10. Oh, that looks perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let's actually like talk about shot making for a minute while you're doing this. Yeah. Show me you hitting the same shot and how would you hit it lower? Cause you hit the ball too high. Yeah, I know. It's, um, how do you think you do that? If I were to, the ideal situation would be, me like 
going lower and then kind of compressing the ball, which I don't know how to do. <laughs> oh, we're going to do that. Okay, got it. So, so based off everything you're doing currently, which is all golden, we need to kind of understand how the club reacts through the impact interval. Okay, so do that again. That was actually pretty close. Good, stop. Okay, so what you're doing really well, your arms are still extended. That's mm -hmm. a good thing. This wrist is going to rotate a little bit. Feel that? Yeah. This arm will rotate a little bit, and I want you to finish with the toe feeling up for you. Mm -hmm. Knees come together. My knees come together. And then this is uncocked. That's uncocked. This is uncocked? That's uncocked. I want you to hit, hit a ball like that. Okay. Okay? The best you can. Don't worry, it'll take a couple to do this. So I'm basically kind of turning it down and rotating that down like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Hold that. Okay. So what's oh. actionable, that's good. This is rotated. Yeah. This is uncocked and those arms are straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. we're going to keep doing this. What I don't want to have happen is that. Okay. Okay. Now, when you hit it like a three iron or two iron, yeah, you can't do this because you lose all your loft. But like the goal here with a wedge is to not send it up into the moon. Oh, okay. You're trying to hit it flatter. Yeah. If you're hitting a good ball, good club, good contact, let's say I hit a pitching wedge and it spins 10 to 11,000 RPMs, which yeah. is quite a bit, which yeah. you're probably not gonna do, maybe closer to 95. Mm -hmm. If you do that and you hit it straight up in the air, every back pin that you hit into is death. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna rip it mm -hmm. off the green. Okay. So you got to hit it flatter. So you watch most good players, they hit their wedges flatter mm. with less energy. Yeah. That's kind of what we want. Okay. You're not trying to blast a wedge. Got it. You're trying to flight it down. Now, why do I like that a lot? Well, for me, inside 160, 65, something like that, I hit everything from 40 yards to 160 like that. Okay. Because I don't need to hit a seven iron straight up in the air, right? Okay. I'm trying to hit it flat and take something off of it, if anything especially on El Dorado golf greens, you know, because yeah. they're spongy. So um, this is a really good way to work on like contact, controlling your start line, controlling your curve. Okay. okay? All right. So should I, that feel where I'm kind of going down, is that for every club or just, oh, it's every club? Yeah. Okay. Got it. It'll take care of some of the mishits that you get. Okay. Yeah, I've never done that before, but I know people say it because a lot of my balls are like open. Yes, yeah. and this kind of closes it. Yeah, so it de-lofts the club too. And w when would you say that you usually feel like, would you feel it on your like way down? I or? do. So, so ideally, so like if we're in a vacuum, we're talking golf school stuff. Yeah. Um, ideally, so most tour players at the top have a left wrist mm. that's level to extended. Yep. They're not bowed. Yeah. Okay, I know Victor's there, I know DJ's there, and I know there's a demographic of golfer who slices it. Yeah. And if you want to do that, okay, but you're not going to you're going to lose speed. Yeah. And it's a little more difficult to go from extension to flexion to rotation of the of the head. Yeah. But it's the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, ideally, I would like this to be level at the top. Yeah. And then through the transition, this wrist, yeah, this wrist is this way. Yeah. It's actually level to slightly cupped. Yep but it's torquing down and rotating like that. Now, if you do that and you pivot well, it can't go left. Got it. Okay. There's no way, like, cause gotcha. you got shuffling. Yeah. So the ball starts more to the right. So I have a relatively pretty strong grip. Uh-huh. So that means like, I kind yeah. of- That means your left wrist is gonna be more cupped at the top. Yeah. And so would you say to still have that and try to get For there? now. Okay. Yeah, got so it. that's the last thing I typically deal with. Okay. But if somebody comes in and there's, they got a strong grip, yeah. they're gonna be more extended at the top. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna be here, you are gonna hit it left. Yeah. Okay. Got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sick. Tommy Fleetwood, that yeah. was pure. That sounded way better than any other shot of the pit. <laughs> that looked awesome. So keep doing that same body and keep doing those. Those are the two things you're kind of gearing towards. Okay. Okay. Let me get one more where you still had a little too much this going on. Okay. So don't let that lower center go right. 
so it's yeah more like that yeah yeah yeah. that was exactly right even though that was chunky that was pretty decent do one okay. more so you'll notice the better you do this the more it encourages your body to pivot yeah so pivot is just the turn here yeah the turn and extending of the pelvis oh, that looks great what do you think about that face on that one? Yay or nay? It went far right, but I think I hit it on the toe. Okay. But I think I need to just, this is new, like the newest feeling I've yeah, ever had. Yeah, so it's not just this, you need to feel a little bit of that. What is a that? A little bit of supination. So I'm here at the top. So pressure goes left. Boom. Good. Now go ahead and keep going. Good, keep going. Let this supinate that way. See how that, that's rotating? Oh, this way? That way. So it's kind of like Yes, this. correct. Correct. Like anchor it left with your pressure, chest right. And then show me that kind of slow overdone. Remember the follow through, do that one more time. Uncocked. Yep, keep going. Hold, there, um, right there. That's where I want you. Boom, right there. Mm. Don't let this get above. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh. Exactly. Okay, oh. ready? This is kinda like. So show me that, take your setup. Golf shot. Oh, that's so different. That is the best looking swing you've ever done. Check this out. Oh, dude, it's great. It looks like a tour player now. And, and whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, okay, just sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> net positive. Yeah, it's a net positive. <laughs> so these are the two hats that, that you're gonna you're gonna wear. You're gonna you're gonna have one that's gonna be very predicated towards setup and where your centers are. Okay, yeah. that will come and go mm -hmm. because you got to keep attention to it um, because it's somewhat new. Yeah. Right. Just because I've, I've known you for a little while now, I start seeing traits. Yeah. It's not that hard to analyze a golf swing. Yeah. Okay. I tell people like a monkey can do it. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that um, teachers, like the really good ones, maybe I'm in that category. I don't know. But um, I tend to say that teachers are really good over time, like looking at behavior. Yeah. So like how does a student over time take the information in and how do they use it? Mm -hmm. Like. Where do they attach their focus to? So for you, you're really, really good at moving dynamically. Yeah. I actually have to do the opposite to you because if I let you go going dynamically, you're gonna be really dynamic, but you're gonna have no control. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, which is great for 99% of the population. I wish they had your problem, but. <laughs> okay, so look how much better this is. So that setup to you feels weird. Yeah, that's crazy. It looks like it's so even, but it feels like like this. I know. Yeah. Okay. Trippy, just, right? Yeah, that's wild. So that's your first thing. And then making sure that your hip stays more forward, head stays more back, and now you're centered. <laughs> like you're pretty zeroed out. Okay, that's crazy. Right? <laughs> yeah. And to you, that feels, feels like this. Yeah. Not like, even close. Not even, okay, yeah. It yeah. Looks, okay. okay, so your hip is zero, your chest is one inch to the right. So now it's very easy for you to hit the brakes on the lead side because you're already there. Yeah. So if you slide way to the right, you have to slide everything back. Now here's a true indication. So like I work with a lot of long drive guys. Yeah. Okay. They can't hit it 390 yards that way. Yeah. So like Justin James, I've had him here, measured him. Justin James moves his hips three inches to the right going to the top. But because his range of motion is so big, it gets back all the way to zero. Okay. So you're trying to hit a pitching wedge. Yeah. You're not trying to do that. Like yeah. You're trying to control that. So as you look at this, pressure's forward. Now look how much better your wrist angles are. Handles better, no flip. Oh man. Right? Yeah, it's slightly ahead. Slightly ahead. Wrist is square, like if I bring that back, look at the extension in your arms. The face isn't flipping under, you're not going like this anymore. Yeah, I had a chicken wing problem. Okay, so the chicken wing is because of two things. 
not understanding how the face stays square to yeah. the arc, mm -hmm. okay? And the pivot not moving like that. Yeah. So okay. if, if I just went like this, that arm doesn't bend. Yeah. Okay, now, there are outlying situations. Look at, like, uh, Jordan Speed. Yep. So, like, he has to because of his attachment and mm -hmm. what he does with his wrist. Okay. And he's really good at golf. Yeah, so. <laughs> I would say so. See the extension in the arms? Yeah. And then there, that's your follow through. And you should do that all the way through seven iron. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So this feel again, I just need, I just need to green this. So uh, it's, heck yeah. it's, what is the supination thing? So supination is yeah. actually the arm. So go like this. Yeah. That. This way? Yep. I'm gonna keep this kind of soft that way. So then it's rotating. Like this, but when I come out, it's, it's, it's just extended. like this. Yeah, exactly. It's not like. No. No, because you just extended the lead wrist. See, when you do that again? Yeah. See how this starts to head into extension. Oh, okay. So it's just kind of like that. Yeah. There you go. Okay, got it. Eventually, and then eventually. I'm just gonna then go. it recocks. Yeah. On oh. your high shots. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, on the high shots. Yeah. Anecdotally, just just from looking at this, yeah. <laughs> I would say the behavior might feel the same with a five iron, but it won't do it. Gotcha. Oh man. So that's open. Yeah. I was... Felt it? Yeah. Okay, try it again. Bingo. Welcome to the trajectory. Yeah, that was, that that was had, different. That was crazy different. That was three windows lower. Yeah. That's how you should be hitting that. Man, so that like would if, give me so much distance. <laughs> well, efficient distance. You yeah. won't try to, so here's the issue. If you constantly get on the driving range and you're hitting it and you're like this, you're hitting flop shots. Yeah. So you're decelerating the handle really early yeah. and the club's flying by. Now, okay, yeah, you could swing the club head pretty fast that way, but it could go anywhere. Yeah. So your, your goal isn't predicated on club head speed, it's consistency of impact and then getting proper ball speed for you okay. at this junction, okay? That was beautiful. Yeah, that was crazy different. Oh, that's kind of way more smoother too. This... Yeah, exactly. Okay, let me try that again. Hips forward, good. Oh man. That was good, just your weight went right. You feel your yeah, lower body? I, I keep going like, like, like this, um, but. That's all right. Good, I, I mean. If I filmed that, I'd probably said that your pelvis went two inches right. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dang. Awesome. Oh, I so, see. trajectory, handle little, lean, good. Yeah, a little open though. Uh, Yeah, you're also aiming right, right there. By the oh. way. <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a little right, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, that sounded like a compressed. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Spinloft. <laughs> nice, dude. That That's well awesome, done. dude. Oh, man. Okay. I heard that. That was good. <laughs> Let's just say for a moment, this is why I always do grip last. Yeah. So if you get really good at, you know, creating some amount of shaft lean, and I say some because it depends on the shot you're hitting. Yeah. Um, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's overdrawing. Yeah. Then we start looking at the attachment, mm -hmm. which is the grip. Yep. We, we, what I do not want to have happen, this is what people run into, is they go, is my grip fine? It's like, I have no idea if your grip's fine. I don't know how you release it. Yeah. So if you're super strong and you're going like this, it kind of matches up. Yeah. It kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's limiting to do that because how are you going to hit a wedge? Yeah. You know, it's, it becomes a problem. Yeah. All right, keep going. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Hitting bullets. Oh man, this is oh, wild. Yeah, all my shots have been always like to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Just, like... It doesn't mean like, hey, you know what? That's a skill. Like look at things differently. Go... So like if you have to hit a wedge over this tree, yeah. you're certainly not gonna do this. So yeah. in your brain, you're like, okay, I have the ability now to stop the handle, let this thing fly by and then hit it over the trees. Oh, so you could use that as an advantage? Okay, yeah. Like great. if you understand it, 
Yeah. That's the thing about playing. You can go to the range and you can, you know, put forth the effort of doing everything really, really right, but you're not going to remember it out here. Like yeah. my challenge to you is like, okay, you just learned how to do something. Yeah. Go out late afternoon. I know you live in LA. I know it's busy. It's hard to get out to play. San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> even harder at times, right? That's golf capital. Yeah. So if you're there and you're like, hey, I need to get some reps in and you have the ability to get on the course, yeah. go out there, drop a couple balls at 135, take a wedge out, and chip them and hit them low. Mm -hmm. So you get some reps because look, it's a lot harder. Like if you look at that green there, you got bunkers, you got a couple pins, that's a practice green. Yeah. And you got to flight these balls in there. Mm. You can't just send them to the moon. Yeah. You'll remember that more than you'll do it on the range. Yeah, for sure. That makes sense. He fixed. Good so job. Right now, I'm feeling like <laughs> I'm kind of like doing this at the top though. Is that okay? For now. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. Was the ball okay? Was it low? Yeah, it was super low. Did you low. compress it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Cool. Okay, let's speed it up. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's say that like like run a routine like you're playing. Like how what would, what would be your feel back here? Um, kind of just look at the, I kind of just do a practice swing here. Okay. Awesome. Is that good? Nice? And then I'll look where I want to aim, where are we aiming here? Same straight at that white yeah, thing. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Other side of the spectrum, low yeah. bullet. And then I just need a, right now it seems like I'm Kind of holding this off. Sure. Should I get it back up here? Eventually? When you're out on the course, yeah. you will do that. Okay. Trust me. So like <laughs> you want to kind of get good at this. We're going, yeah. okay, I'm hitting it in the low window. Yeah. I'm, comp I'm compressing the golf ball. The other reason why the ball goes particularly low, when you come through, feel like your head, see how my head's behind my right shoulder? Yeah. So as I'm coming through, this is back. It's not here. Get that feeling, you think? Yeah. Oh, so there you go. See your head's more back? Yeah. So the side bend. There's your side bend. Yeah. Yeah. That'll help you get the ball higher without like having to flip it. So oh. you still lean the shaft, but your head's more back. So right now it's so low because I'm like. Your head's a little forward. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like this way. Okay. Yeah. You can try it. Yeah. Let me try it. I think I could do that. You'll, you'll get away with doing that with a wedge maybe, but not with a seven iron. I mean, if you like golf, that looked pretty. That was a good golf swing right there. Yeah, that looked like the right distance, I mean, the right height. And it overdrew a little bit. Let me film you just doing that practice swing. You're gonna like this. And that overdraw is maybe the grip, maybe something else. Here yeah. Because I, I have like a ridiculously strong grip. Uh, I, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we basically want that less overdrawing. Correct, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a pattern, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna film your practice swing. You do everything the best that you can, and we're gonna look at it. Take a look. So yeah. that's your setup. Great. You go back, hips are staying centered. Yeah. Heads more back. I mean, 0.2. That's like zero. A lot of shoulder turn. And then here, see so your head's back, hips forward. Handles more forward. Hallelujah. Oh, that's crazy. Right? So you got shaft lean. And see how the face is square. So you think that you're actually turning this down and the face is actually like that. Yeah, that's another that? feel. I, 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 it feels like it's like that. Yeah, yeah. but it's not, it's, it's not. Now your head's back, hips forward, and then arms extended. And now your head looks like it's behind the right shoulder. Now you actually re the club a little on this one. Yeah. Okay, but that's what it should look like. That's like your pattern that you need to ingrain. So like here's the elephant in the room. So, and I think the industry is like this a little bit. The industry attaches itself to certain things, okay? Yeah. Um, so formally, the, the industry that I'm in was always based off of golf swing mechanic. The other side is force production, mm -hmm. okay? So you have to generate force. You yeah. generate a lot of force, but so much so, because you don't have the geometry yet, that the geometry gets more, I'll call it lucid, is that good? Is that a yeah, good word? that's a good word. <laughs> more lucid, it moves around a little bit more. Yeah. 
and therefore your contact's not as good. Okay. So we need to stay more on that side for a while. And you'll, you'll hit it better and you'll hit your short irons closer to the hole and yeah. golf's easy or easier. Yeah. Uh, that's what needs to occur. So we don't want to move around. We want to understand it, but we don't want to move around too much. Okay. okay. And I could probably even go slower because I'll probably still have the distance. I need. Of course you will. Yeah, which is good. Of course you will. <laughs> so it's kind of like this. All the same stuff. Yep. Okay, let me try that. Head back, turn it down. Yep. Close. Yeah, a little chunky. I need to also just get my, I still need to apply pressure even though I'm on the left, I just need a little of bit. Of course, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Aim, uh, aim way more left with your body. Oh, You're this aimed way. way too far right. There okay. you go. Oh, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> yeah. if you aim right, it's gonna be tough to side bend. You're gonna hit it over the fence. So do it kind of slowly. Do your back swing and then side bend, do the same rest. Okay, kind of a straight little push. It did actually work a little over it. So to me, that looked a little this way with your rib cage. So instead, I was going like that, so here. Hips more forward, shoulder more under, yeah. Okay. Okay, so go and do your backswing for me. You're good. There, okay, now pressure's here. Now start to side bend down. Feel that? Oh, and yeah. You're gonna feel this go out to the right, that way. Okay. Okay, do that again. So this, ready? Go for it, take it back. There, go for it. Out to the right. Over there. Yeah, over there, yeah. Yes, just like that. Ooh. I know you chunked that. That was a nice little push draw. Yeah, man. And that that's... was very cool. <laughs> I just need okay. to get more weight on the left. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And feel that kind of Go that way. Like this. Yeah. yeah. So this is going this way. That's going that way. Wait, can you do it from this, to this side? Yep. So um, pressure goes here. Boom, so my arms are going that way. Like this and rather than? Yeah, instead of like crashing it. So this is kind of going. Um, it goes that. underneath. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, OK. There you go. All right, I'm just going to try to emphasize my weight shift. I mean, yeah, my it's good. Power. Ooh, you're welcome. Okay, that's, that's a little better. And that, I went a little, I slightly thinned that, like barely, because, why? Because you thinned it, because you hit one shot, you thinned it, it's okay. <laughs> if you did like four in a row, then we can talk. So like, if you hit a bad shot, just like keep it redundant. Like the redundancy is gonna be, okay, if we're covering all the bases, you're gonna do this all the way through driver. Your setup position, keeping that, lower center to upper center correct. Then into the downstroke, you're turning this down and then you feel that same sensation of you side bending and swinging more out to the right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's probably the best swing you've ever made. Yeah, that, that felt good. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, that was really good. Okay. It was a slight push drop right around your target, right where you're aiming. Yeah. So it started right, came right back, trajectory was down. And the divot wasn't crashy. Yeah, it was like, this is the one. All right, let me hit a, a Let's just go straight to driver. Yeah, let's go to driver. Yeah. I'm just. Let's just let that thing hit. Yeah. <laughs> let's send it. Do you like it um, teed up a little lower like this? Um, oh, okay, or? it depends. Yeah, because so, those guys are sending it. Yeah, so, it's so high. It, it depends on like what you do. So like if your goal is to hit up and out, mm -hmm. then you tee it slightly higher, okay? Yeah. But I like where yours is, yours is pretty standard, so yeah. we won't touch that. There are some instances where I have guys hit off the deck. Really? So especially if they're trying to create a flat spot, uh -huh. like if they're actually like kind of steep, yeah, and they need to sweep it, then you tee it up low. Got it, got it. Okay, so Depends. here, same thing, everything? Oh yeah, yeah, 100%. And probably more exaggerated in the setup than the other clubs. And am I, am I still doing this? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Well, that was a good lesson. 
Oh my god. <laughs> that was that was a high draw. That was the first time I ever did that in my life. Really? Oh, yeah. that was sick. No, I didn't expect that for the first try. Let me. That was. Let's see if we can do it again, guys. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I, I don't even trust myself. That. that was pretty cool. Good. So well, I hit eye on the face a little bit, but that was good. Yeah. It's definitely. I mean, pattern was right. Yeah, I mean, now I just need to practice this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Lower center move to the right. You felt it? This one? Yeah, it yeah. kind of went. <laughs> yeah, I did feel that. Do that again. <laughs> Toed it, but that was awesome. Yeah. It's... See, that's like. Bam, like that, and it's drawing. Yeah. I, you just towed it a little bit. You want to take a look at what your swing looks like? Yeah. So really good. I, I see so you have 13 degrees of side bend or more. So getting more of that is a good thing. Even okay. though it says out of range, I want you to hit draws. So okay. I don't want this to get close to zero. Yeah, I also have this problem where I started looking up before I even hit the ball. But, yes. But so I that's, probably... that's also, so if you do that, if your head goes mm. like this, so people say, well, look at the target earlier. Mm. Don't do that. Yeah. Because if I do that, it pulls my chest more to the left. Got but it. What does that do to the swing direction? Pulls it more to the left. Yeah. And so for 99.99% .99 of the population, that's a bad thing. And they go, yeah. well, Dustin does it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not DJ. <laughs> he has net jets on his sleeve right here. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. That's what you got to do. Okay. Got it. <whistles> Hello. That was straight. Was I aiming there? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. I always think that I'm aiming. Okay. So let's kind of talk for a minute because yeah. this is kind of where I want you to be. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm looking at what you're doing. And like I said earlier, at the beginning of this, I'm looking at kind of behavior, like where you attach yourself as priorities. Yeah. What's the easiest one to take care of? The, the one I address, this one. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, because you're not moving, number one, right? It's kind of your precursor to movement. Yeah. And then what's the second thing you're trying to feel? Um, for me, it's the... No. No? That's third. That's what's the, third the second thing? thing you're trying to feel? Um, the relationship of upper and lower center. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you, do, if you don't combine, do that combine those two. and you go like this, you're going to come dead over it. Yeah. So that's feeding the old pattern of coming over it. Okay. So if this gets more this way, it helps you to swing out to the right. Yeah. What's three? The, the hands. The hands. Yeah. 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 And th right now it's okay if I'm feeling up here, but eventually I think it's just going to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll work on, we'll look at like hand pass stuff later. Okay. Like we don't, the body has to be right first. Yep. Because here's the thing. Here's a buzzword. Get depth. You've heard that before on, yeah. online? Okay. So I don't want to get depth the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I don't want to step up and just rip my arms around me to get the club flat. Okay. And conversely, I don't want to lift my arms straight up. Because yeah. I'm going to have swing direction issues on both sides and angle of attack issues on this, both sides. Mm -hmm. That's a 90 degree window that I'm working from. So here to here. Yeah. So if I get here and I have proper rotational values, yeah. then I have the ability to kind of check where the hands are. Yeah. Um, but I don't try to obscurely make the arms do anything in my swing that I don't need to because okay. golf's hard enough. Yeah. Okay. What was the fourth thing? Uh, the fourth thing... Uh, side bend? Oh, yeah. Head back. Oh, yeah. This hips one. forward and swing right. And feel this, basically. Yes. This. Yep. So arms are going out. Yeah, kind of Head like staying back. This. That way. Oh, that way. That's just a little bit more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. And that'll keep the swing direction to go less to the left. Got it. And so this, uh, I, I'm just, like, this is the one thing I would need in grain, but, so it's kind of like. There. Yes. yes. And this is kind of like going this a little one bit goes, that way, yeah. a little bit this way, this one going yeah. down. So there's some players that feel this with the right hand, mm. and then some players feel that. Just depends. And then eventually this, this doesn't go like this. No, it no. goes this, and then, and then recock. Recocks. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Um, okay, yeah, Easy. that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, that's crazy different, but it makes sense. Well, this is a big, this is probably like the biggest lesson for you because yeah. it's a little bit of the first stuff that we talked about. Yeah. Like there's a so, small bit of that that's very related to that. Yeah. And then this part is like understanding the bottom. So one of the big things that 
like the best players in the world actually do. There's a topic we call educated hands. Yeah. So there was a book called The Golf Machine. Mm -hmm. Like if you really get in culty and you get into that. Yeah. Which was a very good book and you know, how much of it was correct and how much was not, that's up for debate. But there was this topic on educated hands. Mm -hmm. So a good player knows how to deliver the dynamic loft into the golf ball. Yeah. Right? And they learn that through time or they are, they're instructed to do so. For you, you're instructed to do so now. Yeah. Like how to get that to, because you already have the skill of hitting it high. Yeah. That is a skill. You just don't want to do that 90% of the time. Yeah. Which you I know, did. <laughs> maybe 98% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> because it, you lose control. But like I said, you want to send it over a tree or whatever. That is a skill. Okay. Okay. Got it. And then so Easy. depth, depth, the thing you brought up, depth is bad when it's like this. Yeah. Don't do that. But since I could rotate like pretty well in this, like this isn't like bad depth. No. It's like good yeah. depth. You do it with your rib cage. Yeah, rather than my Yeah, arms. you don't wanna pull your left arm independently across your chest. Yeah. Now you do through the transition, that actually loads. Okay. Right, so I get up here, this actually loads, and so it can unload. Got it. But if I load it prematurely, mm -hmm. then my whole backswing sucks. Yeah. I see a lot of guys do that, because they're trying to get their arms in. Yeah. It's like well that's not athletic you don't throw a ball like that yeah right it actually gets wide to narrow to wide so Same concept at the top of the bag swing for i guess any club is, is it kind of just kind of get it and then I, this is still i wouldn't be like up here and then going that no. it's kind of just this and then it comes it follows yeah so but okay that's a totally different topic. i know i know i know okay so i'm going to be completely cur i'm going to try to check the boxes here yeah so conceptually like can i borrow your club for a minute yes so you see one demographic of player who might need to feel that they're speeding their arms up yeah okay that doesn't actually happen so like tommy fleetwood does that so yeah. tommy fleetwood gets up and he goes boom right before he hits like he, he kind of does this as a feel why i don't know i need to talk to tommy about it i have no idea but that's his feel yeah and the reality is, is when Tommy gets to the top and then he transitions and he starts to, to separate, his left arm actually pins against his chest. But because he's straightening the left leg early and side bending, this blasts off because of the vertical force he's put, putting through the ground. Yeah. So it doesn't stay that way. Now, if I was at the top and I just spun around, well, that would be bad. Yeah. Because my arm just stayed pinned. Yeah. Can't get to the ball. But that doesn't mean like, independently fire your arms down. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, got it. Okay, so you never ever want to get to the top and fire your arms down like that. Okay. Independently, got because it. if you do that, it t turns off your rotators. Gotcha. And you lose speed over time. That makes sense. Okay, I, I mean, I have these so many macro things, I probably just <laughs> think okay. Yeah, just, just the big macro things. <laughs> okay, cool. Not, not the little micro things. All right. I see players do that, and look, it. you can, you can make it look good yeah but is it really as repeatable as it could be yeah probably not okay got it so, all right one last good. thing yeah can you teach me how to hit a three wood yeah let's do it yeah, it's the same thing <laughs> yeah i've never i've hit this once in my life it's my it's been once my, i, yeah. I really? mean all the places i play at is like um i'm either hitting driver or hitting a five iron but like i also okay another question <laughs> i only have 14 clubs in my bag okay I think I need two more because I have such a big gap for my two from a five iron, which hits about 200 yards, and then my driver. You're fine. 14 clubs. You probably need at one point to get fitted. Do I need a hybrid or? Probably. That's yeah. what like. Yeah. yeah like cause... some, some type of hybrid. And we then... don't know what that is right now. Okay. So got I'll, it. I mean, next time you come out, I'll track man you. Okay. We'll kind of see. Okay. But yeah, Let's you need that. to fill that gap for sure. Yeah. Um, Okay, so tee it all the way down. That's you fine. hit this off the tee, and then you also off the yeah. But deck. just just because you're learning it, tee it all the way down. Okay, so like this. Yeah, perfect. And then everything the same. Yeah, treat it like a five iron. It's easy club to hit three wood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always liked hitting driver better. <laughs> well, because it's easier. But that's still an easy club to hit. Yeah fine just topped it do that again don't come out of it as much so treat it like a five iron so feel like you're hitting a low ball okay, okay. so sh should i be hitting down yeah oh it's i should on be the hitting. ground yeah you're oh, gonna okay. actually three wood you're gonna hit about three down on 
Oh, okay, not like a Not driver. trying to hit up on it. Oh, I see. Oh, so should I just not be like this far back like a driver then? No, 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 you're doing good. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, I guess you can't hit that thing, can you? Yeah. You're fine, <laughs> you're totally fine. Let me get you a couple more balls. Okay. But yeah, your three wood, you just don't treat it like a driver, treat it like it's a four iron and hit down like three degrees on it. But do it with your same feeling of that, this feel. Oh, this feel. Yeah, and but still kind of hit down and out on it. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I just then. always top it. What's that? I feel like I always top this ball. Uh, yeah, you ball. hit up on it too much. So feel like you have more of this and more of that when you hit it. There you go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just looks like a driver, I feel. <laughs> well, basically it's an old driver. That, that three wood right there is like a two wood. Nice. Okay. On All the right. lower side, but that was better. All right, one more, one more, or two more. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it, it is kind of just. Yeah, like you just got to trust hitting the ball first. Yeah, that's. that's cool. Okay. There you go. What do you got, dude? <laughs> yeah, I was, I, cause that was really good. Yeah, we ended on a good note, guys. There's no ball here. Yeah, <laughs> we finally hit a three wood, let's go. Awesome, Dana, Smashed. thank you so much. That was easy, right? That was easy. When I think about it, like, not a driver, I could hit it. I was like, just thinking I was hitting, yeah, five iron. Yeah, just feel like, cause you, so you'll see this on track, man. Next time you come out, I'll, we'll, I don't want to give you too much, you know, yeah. I don't want to overwhelm you. Yeah. Um, but I want you to be confident when you leave, like, oh, I can actually improve. Yeah. It's the most important piece. Yeah. Um, whether or not the swing looks exactly perfect, like principally, can you can you hit the ball, make good contact, start on the line and curve it? Yeah. I'm gonna say that a lot. But when we bring track men out, you'll actually see like, oh, I'm hitting my three wood two to three degrees down with your speed. If you swung slower, maybe a little bit less, but for you, for sure, you need to be hitting about two to three down on it. Okay. Just to get the sweet spot to the ball. Yeah. Um, and then driver, you hit like two or three up on it. Okay. That's like ideal. Got it. Um, but we'll look at those things next time we come out. Gotcha. And then when just when I'm practicing now, which yeah. I'm going to go do now, basically. So the f four things essentially. Um, and would you like when you practice, would you just focus on one for 50 balls, one for 100 balls, or just like all of it, or like think about it kind of in unison? Like, well, your brain will actually, believe it or not, will process it in that way. Yeah. But try to make sure that it always starts with one. Yeah. So when you get there and you're like, I'm going to set up, do setup stuff, even though you might try like two or three, it's attentions on that first thing. Yeah. And they go, yeah, I got that. And then maybe it's on the third thing next. Yeah, the third thing's not working, so I'm going to try the second thing. Okay. And you spin those plates. Got it. Remember, when you do it wrong, you're learning. Yeah. You don't want to do it right because if you do it right out the bat, like you're not going to actually program it that quickly. Okay. So you want to have a little bit of failure around this. Okay, gotcha. Awesome, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, very, very good. Easy. Yeah. Easy money. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be a pro next time. <laughs> yeah, Just next kidding. time. Tournament next week. Yeah. Playing easy. the Golden State Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Anna. You're very welcome. Hey, you over there. Check this other video out. YouTube said you would like it. And yep, I think Tiger Woods is also watching it. Yep, just checked. He is. <laughs> go, 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 go.